Good afternoon. My name is Helen Browling, and I'm an artist with Stamp Beauty. I am here today to show you a little bit of color correction for acne spots. Um, these three in particular are old cystic acne spots, you know, where they flare up and they have like pockets under the skin. So I, I don't know if they're healing or what's going on, but they're really old. And then they, like two days ago, Wednesday, they decided to do this. I guess that's three days ago now. Um... And then I have like regular acne <laughs> as well, but those are not nearly as bad, let me tell you. All right, I'm going to just jump into this. And if you have questions about anything that I'm sharing or questions about um, how to use any of the colors for your skin, you can always comment below or you can message me and I can help you um, and if get started. So I have... Uh, Sunlight, which as you can see is quite yellow. Um, it works really well for a lot of people. I have um, the undertones of this obviously are very red and then once I correct that they come through as purple. So that's where the yellow comes into play is to take out the purple. Um, Aspen is this ashy contour color. I don't read my label. It's not Summer Love because that was what was there and I popped it out so I could put sunlight in here. Um, and I didn't take the label off, but anyway, Aspen is a very good color to help with redness. So I'm just going to show you placement for that using the detail brush on the smaller end. Um, we'll go ahead and start with Aspen. So you can see right there, right here, um, those are again, regular acne spots. That have some redness, so I'm just gonna lightly apply that. Now, with cystic acne, if you're not familiar, it kind of leaves little holes like in your skin, so very textured. You can see that it's almost disappeared. It's got a little bit of purple, like that. I turned on my little ring light my mom gave me because I used it for the first time yesterday and realized it really helped some of the textures and colors to show up. Like that one was almost disappeared. This one is a little scab, so it might be harder to cover. Thank goodness it's on the jawline, so I actually can just run the contour. up a little so again you can see that has really purple undertones coming through now because the redness is gone but it's still very visible I'm gonna use one more spot let me tell you this is the most annoying one to have it right beside your mouth because you use your mouth so much with talking, eating, and taking drinks of water. So it's constantly moving and it's very painful. All right, so that is the Aspen to take out the redness. And as you saw, that worked really well. Now I'm gonna move into, I don't know if my brush will fit in that. Well, I'll have to use it because I didn't bring a regular one in here. Okay, so this tin is almost running out. This is my regular highlight or contour color. So I'm going to go ahead and put my lines where I need those to be. This brush is working just fine, I think. Oh, you know what? I could probably get enough on the tip. This is my favorite brush for nose contour detail brush. Just kind of take it up to your brows and then down on the end. A little bit of shadow under the chin. I'm also going to do this top of the lip. It kind of makes it look bigger than it is, which I have small lips, so I really am loving that trick right now. Um, let's see. I'm a little sweaty. It is hot. Is anybody else like it's really hot where you are? Okay, now my face is not sweating. I'm going to take my brush and 
get that on the forehead. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to talk too much about contour because you guys should know most of that. Uh, I'm just gonna get it on so we can move on to the last part of the color correcting. Yep, I have to tickle on my nose. Trying a different primer today, so we'll see how that goes and I'll let you all know. I've been trying several primers. I have one more I wanna grab and then I will start giving you results. I'll probably be like a primer week. I have three possibilities. So I'm just blending that contour now. Oh shoot. I just wiped it off. Oh. Okay, just put Aspen back on there. I'm just gonna tap over the areas that are having color correction. And then the color I put on will stay where I've placed it. I think I ran that a little high, but that's all right. So I think that's where you'd find the shadow of your cheek. All right, moving on. Just gonna blend at this point. I already have my eyeshadow done, but I nothing else on my face. Now there is that one spot on my nose, so stippling motion. That just means you're pressing into your skin instead of swiping. Um, super important whenever you're using color correction techniques where you have other makeup on now. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the 3D brush and apply main highlight. The reason I wanna do this first brush is dirty i'll use this end the reason i want to do this first is because i don't want to put too much of the yellow if i don't need it i am using a stippling motion with the 3d brush because i want more full coverage um so i'm just doing a full coverage here honestly this is my preferred i like full coverage i like it all covered <laughs> A lot of people will do less, and that's great that it works for them, but I need a lot more. I want a lot more. You can see that redness just fading. Oh, her hair. Hello. Go back where you belong. Okay, and then full coverage. Again, my tint is running low because I've been... Doing a lot of makeup this summer. So I'm gonna just tap over that spot. You can see it's still brighten this up. It's still showing a little. I think I need a little more to go beside these areas. And this is a stippling motion. I know a lot of people, like, we try really hard not to layer our products. So it's one layer everywhere in your skin. However, I have tried all the things and I can't seem to get really good coverage unless I layer some of the products when I have acne that needs covered. I've already done my eyes, so I'm just gonna... I did a sweeping motion to spread the product, and now I'll just tap again for the full coverage effect. I like how that contour looks on that side. Not bad. Alright, sweeping. And then tapping. So I did this eyeshadow look. I actually have the tutorial up on Instagram because... Um, the girl that wanted this particular look, um, she's on Instagram. So, I need a small bit to go down my nose. So, I just did that right before I hopped on here. And it is four eyeshadows. Um, it is a pink, a purple, 
a light blue and a white. And if it was not for fun graphics that other people put together with random colors, I don't know that I would ever try these combinations. But I'm actually loving this, especially I think it pulls really pretty with my blue eyes. But I was like, I have no makeup on my face. I'm getting ready to do a tutorial for full coverage makeup and uh, acne spots. And I just need to do my eyeshadow first and then I'll post photos later. I also don't have my eyebrows done because I was waiting for makeup. All right, so we're going to go back to these three spots because you'll notice that Aspen did okay. Um, let's see, there one, I don't even know. It's got to be somewhere in here. Uh, you can't even see it on the camera. This one, you can almost see it. And you can see the texture for that one, but I don't think when I'm in normal lighting you can actually see it. If I can, I'll add some color correction, but I don't think it needs it at this point. So now I'm going to use this brush. If you deal with acne issues at all, get this brush. It is a spot brush. It is super, super tiny. Like, most of you are familiar with the eyeshadow brush. Like, look how tiny and pointed. This end is super similar to the eyeshadow brush. This one's a little more uh, flat, and this one's a little more rounded. So that's similar, but this end is ridiculously tiny. And the reason it is like that is because it's for the Demi collection. And when you use Demi, you're only supposed to put ex stuff exactly where it needs to go. Very precise placement, and um, it, it does the job. So I have a little bit of sunlight on here. We're going to focus on this one first. And we're going to try just to place it over the only, only over the spot that needs it. And then you'll take that fluffy end and kind of tap at it. I feel like when I'm close to the camera, I can't breathe <laughs> until it's faded. I feel like that did better. You want to make sure you are only on the purple spot and not the skin around it because if you lighten the skin around the dark spot it makes a dark spot even more obvious and then no matter how much of the yellow you add it's not going to go away it's just going to stand out way worse so that's why this precise placement brush is so important so i'm just getting like a little bit of sunlit I know yesterday's live, I did not realize I had purple undertones because honestly I hadn't put makeup on since my face started breaking out. Um, and I was not prepared to show you all full acne coverage. So I've got my sunlit on here. I think you can see there's just a little bit on the end. I have to drop my jaw a little so I can actually see it because it's right on the jawline. Let me tell you, I am basically cross-eyed trying to do this. <laughs> okay. Alright. I can't see. My eyes are going crazy. I, that's probably good. If it's not, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere today.
And again, I am just tapping like this when I'm trying to blend this color so that it doesn't remove the product. No sweeping motions, especially with precise placement. Last spot is this little unfortunate um, like dent in my skin. I don't know what else to call it. See, I went outside of the line there and that's going to make it show up. All right. Okay. So I cannot do anything about the texture, but the colors are like super neutralized. You can almost see where that shadow of one is, but it's not bad. All right. Um, let me think. There was one more thing I wanted to show that was important for this. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's summer. It's hot. I'm I'm sweating right now doing this, and I'm inside in air conditioning. I'm just going to loosen up some powder with my nail because I need it to be on there. I'm going to, again, use that spot brush with that fluffy end. And I'm going to get that on there. Oh, gosh, I can't even see where it is. And put powder specifically over that spot. I'm, I am mean, going to do it all over my face or like more so on my face so it doesn't like stand out that that's where I put powder. But I specifically want to set these areas that have more than one layer of makeup with extra precise placement. So this is key to helping your coverage stay. Now if I'm just gonna, ugh, I can't speak. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'm actually not going to do it all on here. I would just again loosen some powder and then take my brush and I'm going to run it underneath that contour to kind of help make that all blend in, especially because it's all on that one side there. And I want it to be even. Alright. You can almost see how sweaty my skin is, it's annoying. Summer, right? Okay. I'm not going to set my forehead. It's it's like wet right now. I'm going to have to tap it off with like a washcloth or something. All right. So you're going to set those spots. You're going to set around the general area simply because you don't want it to stand out that you spot set areas and the rest of your face has a dewy look and those spots are more matte finish um hopefully this is helpful i haven't had an issue with my face like this in like four or five months so i'm actually really annoyed right now but it's a great opportunity to make a new recording with a little bit more updated information for um acne coverage so that's one i'm going to be saving for my youtube channel because i'm excited to have this <laughs> as horrible as it is to have a breakout on my face. I have new content, so I'm okay with that. Uh, all right, I'm done for now. So if you have any questions, of course, comment below, and I will get back to you later. Bye.